your friends and future friends, I am Shrewboy313, oh excuse me, there we go. <laughs> Welcome back to the Pokemon White Weakling Challenge. In the last episode we made it here to Route 4, I believe this is. Just the level of professionalism on this channel is just unparalleled, guys. I mean really, also shout out to that Dust Noir. Yeah, we made it here to Route 4, we defeated Berg, we defeated Bianca and Sharon, or should I say Marilyn and Christine? Right, and then Professor Juniper wanted to meet us at the entrance to Nimbasa City. But there are things to see, people to, well, people to see things to do here. Right. Namely, there are trainers like these to battle. Yay! And I just realised that guy is Webster, so let's just hope that this isn't the start of all of the Websters again. <laughs> I just remember, it was one of the monotype randomizers I did. There were just so many Websters. I'm just like, why? Please stop, Webster. Who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> this is too much. Right, I'm also just realising now that this guy has four Pokemon, so that's going to be fun. Uh, the, the only speeding up I could do is in the editing, but I don't really know how much that would help, and oh my gosh, a bear tick. <laughs> right, so I'm, we're gonna go with Ami, but like, I don't know how well she's gonna do, considering obviously bear tick is part ice, and as far as I'm aware, rock, no, ice is super effective against rock. I don't know. The, it's the whole rock ice and ground sort of thing. I'm very confused about what ice is super effective against. Like, I'm certain sometimes it's super effective against rock and ground, but then sometimes it isn't at the same time, so I'm like, why? What is happening? What does this mean? <laughs> Basically, I don't know how to play Pokemon. That's more or less it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let us head, but... And something I was also thinking about is maybe bringing back the, like, bringing back having maybe, like, two, like, two Let's Plays going at once, but just having them go every other day, I don't know. Something I've been trifling with. Also, I like how Whalemur's face or mouth sort of caves in on itself, it's kind of cute, if a little strange. Oh dear. Right, apparently the victory got away from Paul Webster there. Right, isn't Webster, isn't that like an online dictionary or something? Like Webster's online dictionary? Tell me the words, Webster. Botanist Tristian. I seem to remember there being a lot of Tristians in the world as well. That's something I remember. <laughs> oh dear, okay. The fun about this is the sandstorm. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love a sandstorm to like, make battles take even longer than they need to? I mean, I sure love them, personally. <laughs> I mean, I realised my tone stayed exactly the same, but that was meant to be sarcasm. <laughs> but I mean, the fact that I had to explain that on the off chance. Oh dear. Right. Ooh, a ninjask. Um, let's go with Amaterasu. Even though the ninjask will be faster, it's four times weak to rock. So, I mean, it's just, it's just the smart thing to do as it is anyway. Right, Ninjask, what are we downloading this time? Attack, nice. Right, Leech Life, oh, that's just going to be normal, isn't it? Oh no. Huh, I guess ro that means rock, no, bug is normally effective against rock? Hmm. I always thought it was the other way around and I've just realised my internet's died, that's fun. It's a good thing I'm not using the internet for this. I am going to need to sort that out. Oh dear, I mean, I'm not going to bother doing it now, <laughs> but I've just realised I probably am going to be staring at it throughout the entirety of the video. Right. Worn out? Yeah, sure, let's heal up. I don't know why I, why I go, yeah, sure, when going to heal was the exact thing I was just going to do. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Uh, oh, there's an item, awesome. It is a muscle band. Oh, my internet's back. Shout out to that. That powers up physical moves, doesn't it? Right, what is Hades holding? Right, stone plate, mystic water, or scope lens. I feel like a muscle band would be good for, for Zeus, to be honest. I mean, we're not really getting critical hits, or so I've noticed, so... 
let me just go back to the top of those. So let's just give, let's give him the thingy majig instead. There we go. He's got a muscle band. Muscle band powers up physical moves, I believe. So obviously with his better stats. Aha! Swine up, pile of swine is okay to use. I mean, it'd give us access to ice and ground, so I am gonna hope that Cut doesn't KO, but watch it do it. Watch it KO anyway. Oh. Oh, dang it. That is just the worst. Ah, oh, well. I mean, it's unfortunate that it. I was about to say that it got away. It didn't get away. I KO'd it. <laughs> Oh uh, dear, do I have... No, I've only got a singular full heal. Oh, let's just use it because I'm lazy. I feel like I should probably buy some of those items, you know, the status healing ones. Oh uh, dear. Oh well, what can you do? I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure... I say I'm sure. There's going to be a... What is it? A Pokemart in... That's a Palkia. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> yeah, there's going to be a Pokemon in the Pokemon Center in Nimbasa City, because I'm pretty sure I mentioned it already, but Nimbasa City's like the main hub, I think, of Unova. Like the biggest, well not technically the biggest city. And we're confused, that's unfortunate. Um, no, I'm going to go for the headbutt anyway. Right. Yeah, there'll be a Pokemon Center, basically. There we go. <laughs> Linoon defeated a Palkia. <laughs> oh dear. Right, buffeted by Sandstorm and a Dustox. So let's. I realise Hades, man. Hades is just straight up not getting used. <laughs> there just seem to be so many Pokemon that Amaterasu is, like, useful against. Honestly, I think it might. I don't know why. I've never really used rock bef rock types before, or a rock type before. Like, I think this is, like, ever. I'm pretty sure I've never used a rock type. I think it's just because quite often they're either just not that great, like, stat-wise, which... Eh, I don't know. Isn't really why I should choose a Pokemon Ew and Iron Ball Gross. I'm not gonna use that. Yeah, it's because they've either just not been that great stat-wise, or it's been, like, Graveler or Boulder, where you have to trade them to get to the final evolution, and I am just not about that. Ah oh dear, right, we are got, we are got, we have got Entrepreneur Wellington with a Gulpin, which is actually a Pokemon that Amaterasu would be great against as well. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Right. Now I'm hoping that we can, I say I'm hoping that we'll get to the next, we'll get to the next city soon, but I am just like going everywhere but where we're meant to be going, so it is entirely my fault we're not progressing. But the thing is, I don't want to, like, sort of run through it, avoiding battles, and then get to, like, gyms and be, like, underleveled. Even though, honestly, if the last gym was anything to go by, I think we were, what, maybe five or six levels higher than their strongest Pokémon, so... Honestly, I don't know whether that's really going to be an issue. Maybe, like, item collecting and... what is it? Um, item collecting and training... Or trainer battles just like off the beaten path. They could be done off screen, I don't know. Right. Oh, excuse me. Tired workers should head to the prefab house. Okay. Also, I wasn't really reading that properly, so it might not have actually said prefab house. I do apologise. <laughs> also, I'm not, again, I'm not entirely sure whether this is the way I'm meant to be going. Right. Gastrodon. Oh, we've already got a water type, so it doesn't matter. I was going to say, I think that's one where it's... Where I'm on the fence about it, like... I'm pretty sure its HP might be over 100, but as for its other stats, I'm not entirely certain. Right, is there anything here? I mean, there might be, but I can't see it. And, ah, there's an item there. We just have to battle this person. Right, that is fine. I mean, like, we're halfway through this video, and we've made, like, barely any progress. <laughs> but I will openly admit, Entrepreneur Christine, that that is my fault. Right, Chimeco. I mean, at least they're... Actually, I don't really know where they stand on stats. 
I think it's following the trend of a regular psychic type in that its special attack is the best. I don't know. But I mean, there is like a thing on Bulbapedia, or I think it's on Bulbapedia, that like shows you the average stats of like every type. Like, I, I believe it takes the stats of every of like every Pokemon of that type and then it gives you like a weighted average of like what the stats would be and I believe obviously that like psychic excels in special which I don't know why it wouldn't <laughs> it makes sense right a grottle eh, I mean we could use the grottle but we wouldn't be able to use the Torterra it evolves into I like how I had to question the fact that it was a Torterra <laughs> Because, like I say, I've looked at all the starters, and the only one that we'd actually be al al allowed to use under the Weakling Challenger's rules would be a Venusaur. Because Venusaur is the only starter Pokemon, like, as of right now when I'm recording this, which is the 12th of September, I believe. Yeah, it's the only one that doesn't have any stats over 100, which isn't great, unfortunately. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's... Ah, we're out. Nice. The thing is, with the Anglum Sata, I can't entirely tell where the, like, darker and lighter... I nearly said grass. It's sand. <laughs> where the darker and lighter sand is. So, like, it's a bit iffy when I'm, like, where I'm going or where we're going. Right. We're healed up. Let's just head onwards now, shall we? Uh, which way? I think both ways off sand. This one just does less. And we've been there, so let's head off now, shall we? Uh, hello, can we go through here? Deep in the desert, ahead of here is the desert resort. There are ruins that have been become a little tourist destination. Ooh, nice. Ooh, these backpackers, the one thing I do remember about them is that they normally only have one Pokemon each, I believe? Oh, but I believe that's the case. Please don't actually take my word for it. Please do not quote me on that. <laughs> I am only a casual Pokemon player. But yeah. Right, a protector. That's unfortunate because that lets you evolve Rhydon into Rhyperia. Which has... Well, which both have stats over 100. Right, I do like that little Sandstream intro thing like before the battle. Also, Champion Leo, same, with the Vaporeon. Where the sand, like, waves across the stream. Or the screen, not the stream. Wow, I can do words. I can do them words well. <laughs> right, this Vaporeon, it's gonna. Oh wow! I was gonna take. I was gonna say it'll probably take a few more hits because I know they've got good HP. But apparently that was not the case for that one. Although I suppose it was nine levels lower. So <laughs> what can you expect? Oh, went in the sand. Right, as you can see, the sort of the sort of a sand path. That's being carved out. Oh, Combi! How ad how adorable. The first time I start I start yes yeah I started that was the right word. Well done, me. I started saying how adorable, but then I sort of cut in with how cute, so it turned into how a duck or how a kid. Honestly, I don't even remember, and it was only a few seconds ago. I need to stop. Right, something about travelling with a guidebook. Wee. Right, Champion Stacy. Hey, she's got a Rhyperia. She. Oh, I was about to say she could have used that protector that was over there, but the fact that she has a Rhyperia means that she probably used it before. Or already. Oh dear. But anyway, let's just switch into Hades, shall we? Right, I mean, it's nine levels lower, so. Yeah, it's nine levels lower, and we're still in the, like, the early stages, so I doubt it's gonna do too much damage. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Oh, and my internet's died again, apparently. That's fun. Like I say, oh, it's back. <laughs> like I say, after this video, I'm probably going to have to sort that out. Right, because the on my computer, I've got like a, a, what is it, a, sort of like a Wi-Fi USB thing. And it's not the best, I'll be honest. <laughs> Or at least today it's not the best, because even before I started recording it kept cutting in and out, like, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know, but we got a Rostberry, so that's nice. And, ooh, oh, nice, we made it. Right, um, 
Is that an item? That is not an item. But we can walk around the- oh my gosh, there are a lot of backpackers. And by a lot of backpackers, I mean there's four. <laughs> oh dear. I also feel like we've got five minutes left of this like sort of recording. Oh no, not another Florentino. I feel like we should make it, at least make it to Nimbasa City in this episode. So it doesn't feel like a complete waste, like we've done nothing. So since these backpackers only have one Pokemon, it probably takes like a minute at the most to like take them down. I think after we've defeated the next one, like the one that's above us, I think I'm just gonna like run through this route to get there and hope that there aren't too many trainers. Right, he loves traveling the world and meeting trainers, battling Pokemon, whatever. <laughs> challenge Mike. Oh, Champion Mike, not Challenge Mike. Oh uh, dear. If he's a champion and his name is Mike, he really, I guess he really takes center stage and he gets given the mic. Hey. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like I've been severely la severely lacking in the terrible puns department and I want to say that maybe that made up for it a little bit. Yeah, I mean to be honest that the level of HP that that Venomoth has is why I stayed in because even if we hurt ourselves in confusion as you saw there the sandstorm would have taken it down anyway or did. You're a top class trainer but something something something. Right, let me just quickly heal up Hades. How many regular potions? Oh, I've got three. Oh, that is something I do like about that. You, it doesn't, like, go out of this screen. It just goes back to something or other. It goes... Well, it just lets you use more. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, we can battle this guy. Why not? Is the last one here. This guy's the last back backpacker. Wow, that came out more difficult. Donna, champion Donna with a Nidoran. That shouldn't be too difficult. Right, I guess you could say that Donna really needs to don uh, the right personality to be a champion. I'm sorry, that was that wasn't that wasn't a good one that made me laugh. It wasn't a natural one. I had to like I felt like I had to force that pun. <laughs> I mean, it was a pun at least, but like I say, I had to force it so it wasn't as good. Because <laughs> apparently they're the rules. Right. Hello, Tori. Come here. Alright, Sharon, chill. Alessa called and was asking me all about electric type Pokemon, and I thought you guys. I thought of you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta da! Freebies for you! Here, Sharon. You too, Tori. Ooh, free Ultra Balls. Nice. I will gladly take those. If you see a Pokemon you want to have join you, be sure to use a good type of Pokeball, because this could be the first and last time you see that Pokemon. I know it might seem strange for me to say this, since I'm the one who asked you to complete the Pokedex, but please remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying you should just neglect the Pokedex, but know that, but know that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca. Oh yeah, because she never, she never got in the call on the cross transceiver. <laughs> It seems the professor gave us a Pokedex as a reason to send us on a journey. At least that's what my mum told me. They wanted us to go out and see the world, so my mum, Bianca's mum, and your mum made a request to Professor Juniper. What should we do now? Alright, you do that, Sharon. I am going to go to Nimbasa City and heal up. Whee! Oh, goodness. There's something going on. Gramps, we know you were in the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon, so hand them over. What kind of white nonsense is this? <laughs> Sorry, that just reminded me of Kimmy Schmidt. What kind of white people nonsense is this? <laughs> a strong looking trainer. Please help me. Alright. If you're gonna get in our way, we'll take your Pokemon too. And now here's the part where I complain at the fact that these two couldn't have battled me at the same time to make this go quicker. Ah uh, dear, but Lady Veronica starts off with, ooh, a Gotharita that. Against Hades that could be problematic. I mean, it is 10 levels lower, so perhaps not, but... Gotharita's a fairly solid psychic type. Oh, it's only using Double Slap. 
definitely not a problem, especially when it's only doing one damage per slap. I am a-okay with that. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, Gotharita is down, and what is Lady Veronica's next Pokemon? We'll find out after Hades has leveled up. I nearly said level 97 because I was looking at the HP. Right, a si I think I'll stick in with Hades with the Seismitoad because they are water ground, so it at least makes Bubble Beam, like, normally effective. Yeah, there we go. That's fine, I can deal with the lowered speed from Mudshot because one more Bubble Beam will finish this off. Alright, there we go, that is one of the two Team, well I say Team Plasma, ladies down. Right, $720, that is awesome. <gasps> this went downhill fast, so I think we'd better run! Let's hide out at the amusement park. <laughs> we'd better run. They just walk slightly faster than <laughs> normal. <laughs> oh dear. Thank you so much. Please take this as a token. Ooh, it's a bike. Awesome. I never ended up riding it. Cool. I mean, I may end up not using it, but eh. I have a daycare on Route 3. If you blah blah blah. I came to sightsee, but I got in a lot of trouble. Cool. <gasps> Tori! You know what? What? What is it, Bianca? The professor told me Nimbasa City has lots of things to see and do. The amusement park, big stadium, small court, and the battle subway. I'm going to see the Pokemon musical. See you later! Okay, good for you. And with that, I'm just going to run over to the Pokemon Center here because I know where it is. <laughs> and I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos. And I will see you guys next time for the next episode of the Pokemon White Weakling Challenge. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.